If you're a regular commuter in the Wellington region, then you'll know what an absolute nightmare it can be trying to travel along State Highway 1 at peak times. Now, the southern se section of State Highway 1, from Wellington up towards Porirua, is absolutely fine. It's got two lanes in each direction, proper uh, exit and entry ramps, so there's no problems there. Once you get north of Porirua, though, that's when we start to hit problems. Single lane roads, traffic lights and roundabouts dominate the route from Porirua up through to the Kapiti coast. So it's about time that somebody did something about that to make a new road that was safer and more efficient for road users. Thankfully though, such a project is actually being built right at this very moment. Let's go and look, look at it in some greater details. Behind me, you can see the first open part of the new State Highway 58 interchange here at Pahatanui. Now, this is part of the new Transmission Gully motorway project. What's Transmission Gully? Well, that's the new road that I was telling you um, about in the intro to this video. Transmission Gully is an $850 million government funded project to build a new motorway right through Transmission Gully from Linden up to Mackay's. The motorway will start at Linden because south of Linden there are no obstructions there. It's already a two lane full speed highway unlike the areas just north of Linden where there are roundabouts, traffic lights and narrow single lane roads with low speed limits. The new transmission gully however though will be two lanes, full open road speed limits in both directions for the entire 27 kilometer length. Once it reaches Mackay's it will stop because at Mackay's it will meet up with an existing motorway project which is the Mackay's to Pekka Pekka Expressway which achieves a similar goal to the new Transmission Gully motorway by bypassing populated areas with single lane roads and traffic lights so that motorists can simply pass through at full speed without having to stop. Prior to the Kapiti Expressway opening, the traffic was a nightmare going through Parapara Umu with the single lanes and the traffic lights. Now though, that junction is so much safer because the traffic is just simply going straight through Parapara Umu on the motorway rather than having to stop up and go through the town centre. Of course though, improving safety goes a lot further than just reducing the traffic flow through particularly hazardous areas. The new motorway will be designed so that accidents are reduced. For example, just like here, there will be a central median going down the centre of the road, separating one direction from the other to try and help minimise and possibly even eliminate head-on collisions. And another huge safety factor is the new motorway's location. The current motorway is situated along a coastline and has hills and cliffs on the other side. And it is highly prone to damage from earthquakes and landslides and tsunamis. And in the event of a major earthquake, it could take weeks or even months to get sections of the existing route reopened again. And for some people, it's the only main road in and out of town. So for some residents, they rely on State Highway 1 being their primary mode of transport. Happily, the new Transmission Gully route aims to provide solutions to these problems as well. Its very design, plus the implementation of certain safety features, means that the road will be less susceptible to damage in the first place, and if the worst does come to it, then it shouldn't take as long to get the road repaired and reopened again if a disaster should happen. Now, of course, I'm not suggesting that the designers of the old route were in any way foolish. They designed the old road back in a time when there were fewer cars on the road and much fewer people around. There's no way that they could have foreseen just how well used their roads would become and that we would need to upgrade sometime in the future. So there you have it. The future of Wellington's road network is in safe hands. We're on our way to better, safer and less congested roads. And no matter how much that's going to cost, I think everybody will be a heck of a lot grateful when Transmission Gully is open. That's it for this video everybody and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.